Au! We were kind of wanting to slip in on this farm this morning because we haven't ever set up here right at daybreak, but we've always seen a lot of birds here. So we were kind of wondering where they were roosted, and they're roosted right where we figured they'd be. He's getting pretty fired up as the sun's yeah. coming up. Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> Ain't mud in. <laughs> like with all kinds of hunting, the most important thing is the scout. And turkey hunting really is no different. You know, every year it seems like typically the birds are on the same farms, but they're not always doing the same things. You know, there may be a field that didn't get hayed that year, so it might change their strutting zone, or there may be a corn field that they're preferring to be in over a picked bean field. You just, you just never know until you go and, and put your time in scouting, and that way you can, you know, if nothing else, it gives you that confidence going into those morning and afternoon hunts of where the birds are gonna be. You weren't supposed to see these. <laughs> Close your eyes. You didn't see that. Pretty good. <sighs> that darn good. Yesterday was amazing. We got all the ground barn set up, got to catch some fish, relax, enjoy the day. Now today, well, I guess we really didn't do a lot of relaxing yesterday. It was more, more work, but it was still a lot of fun. So today the motto is chill and kill, and it's gonna happen. I've killed here, I think opening morning the last three years in a row. Bingo, baby. I'm about sick of Jack with these birds. I shot my bird at least an hour ago, at least. And these birds have been sitting here the whole time, back and forth. Some jakes came out, 
back and forth, back and forth. They get right up to the edge where I can shoot. Well, give me a shot. And finally they got out in the open and I went to draw and they just all got nervous. I'm not gonna take a 60 yard shot while they're freaking out. I was sure hoping I could get a double. We was that close. Oh my goodness. I don't know how this bird's still alive or was still alive, but we came in these woods real quick and started looking for him, couldn't find him, couldn't believe it. Finally drifted in about 75 yards, 80 yards in the timber and I saw him laying down in a ditch. We circled around him, he got up, took off, and then it was a mad dash. Andy and I had to drop the camera, drop everything and just go after him. And finally about 150 yards later, we finally caught up with him through briars and everything else and I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe he lived that long. He was still alive after two hours. And that looked like it was right in the, right in the wing joint. It looked perfect. What, what, are, what are we doing here? We're getting unstuck. That didn't go quite as planned. I earned this today. Back to Idaho. There's a river tumbling down the mountainside. I can feel the north wind blow through the trees and over to the other side. Carry me down to the valley below, and I'm on the road bound for home. Back to what I know. Back to Idaho. Back. Well, that was fun. So and look at that. He makes him just himself a sandwich. Not I, me. I'm getting everything set up to make Not your me. sandwich, too. Is that mine? Sure. We were hunting worms. Let me be honest. I don't know if he's quite a booner, but he's getting there. That's a pretty good one. <laughs>